Hi, my name is Jay and I suffer with depression. Depression itself comes in all forms, sizes, shapes, and in different people. Depression is an illness that you can't see. You can only feel it. And you can only feel it from the inside. It does make you express yourself in different ways. It does make you deal things in different ways. And it makes you look at things, the whole aspect of life in a completely different way. Depression is real. It is an illness and there isn't really a cure as such. I've never been one to sort of like talk about some of the things that have happened to me as a child, um, about what happened to me um, when I was growing up. Um, and I've never been one to discuss um, some of the things that I've had to deal with through my life. I didn't have the best of upbringings, that's no excuse. Um, but at the same time, I've always tried to make the best of everything I've done. And these things, when they build up, can actually cause you to go into a meltdown and cause you to have mental problems or mental instability within yourself. Over the years, I've had many times where I have self-harmed or I have hurt myself in some way or form. Uh, by using alcohol and abusing alcohol to uh, try and kill the feelings or I've used substances that would try and have the same effect or I pull myself apart emotionally. These are all things that can be part of depression, anxiety or parts of losing control of yourself. I've got some really fantastic friends out there, some amazing friends out there. And over the last couple of months, I've really found out who those friends really are. Um, and there's a couple of people in particular um, who have possibly given me the best advice that I could actually ever get. And this little video is the information they gave me and how I would like to pass it across to you guys. It's something that's actually really worked really, really well for me. And I'm gonna continue using it because it is possibly one of the best things that I've actually had within my arsenal for many years. And the thing is as well, so like the information and the advice actually came from possibly one of the people that you'd least expect to this sort of thing to come from because of the way that they portray themselves. I've spoken to quite a few people and uh, these people that have given me this advice and given me this information of how to deal with my problem, with my depression and everything else is, it's incredible, it's worked and I wanna share it. So the information that I was basically given was this, is that each day you try and start your day with a smile. No matter how hard it is to try and create that smile, make it happen. The first thought of your day, make it a happy thought. Now, one of the problems that I've had, which I've had for many years now, being on Facebook, is I tend to pour out my emotions by writing a status. Now, I don't have the best thoughts about myself. I don't think that much of myself. And this little video isn't about any form of self-pity because I don't need it. This little video is about me trying to share something that's helped me that I hope will help you. So number one, smile. When you wake up in the morning, make that your first thing that you try and do. Open your eyes, look out the window, smile. Find the positive from the start. Because at the end of the day, that is gonna be the key to everything that you do from that moment onwards for the rest of your day. Try not to fall asleep angry or upset about something because it will stop you from sleeping, it will stop you from functioning the way that you want to the next day. 
So clear your mind the night before so that when you wake up in the morning, you can actually smile. So now that you've actually woken up and you're ready to try and function for the rest of your day and you're wearing your smile. Now that smile, it might be a little bit fake, but as the day goes on, make sure you wear that smile wherever you go. Your journey to work, whatever you're doing, just make sure you're wearing that smile because that becomes your suit of armor for the day. And if you can smile from the beginning, there's no reason you can't smile to the end. So now that you've got your suit of armor on, the next thing is, if you're gonna be one of these people that wakes up and makes a status for when you wake up, okay, but here's a little plan for you. First of all, maybe write the status down on a piece of paper. Don't just make your status and then send it straight away. Write down what you wanna say, but then stop right there. Don't put it on Facebook because the next part is this. Whatever you've written, write the reverse of it, but in a positive way. Because I'll guarantee when you wake up in the morning, you're gonna have all these things in your head, uh, all these different emotions and everything else, and they're not the best things to put straight away. So it's quite simple. Write the reverse status of what you've just written on the piece of paper. And then just read it and then try and believe it and try and use that as your basis for your day. Remove anything negative from your life. That could be people, things, items that are just around your home, that bring back memories, but just remove those things that you don't need and get rid of it, bin it. Even if it's a thought in your head, take it out of your head and put it in the bin because the whole time that it's there, it's just gonna bring you down. The emotions that are gonna go on your head are gonna depress you, they're gonna pull you down, they're gonna make you weak, they're gonna make you vulnerable. And there's people out there that will thrive off that and they'll try and take advantage of that. Don't be that person. Just try and get rid of that thought, that negativity out of your head and put the positive there and keep it there. So you've now got two things in your favor. You're smiling, you've got rid of the negative things out of your head by putting them down on a piece of paper and turned that into your positive for the day. One final step, spread the smile. I asked a few days ago for a few of my friends to be involved with this and they have been. And basically this is to all of those people that are out there that sent me a smile because those smiles help me get through every day and help me beat the depression that I have inside me. And I want to thank every single one of you people for sending me those pictures of your smiles because every single one of them is a beautiful smile. And the thing about a beautiful smile is they're real and they're there. And a smile is the longest word ever because it has an S at the beginning, an S at the end, and a mile in between. And smiles are infectious. Try this tomorrow, walk down the street, smile at a stranger. That smile will just keep going and going and going because nine times out of 10, that stranger will smile back. They don't know you, they don't judge you. They're not gonna put anything over the top of you in any way or form. They're just gonna smile back. So I want to thank these people. They know who they are because I've told them personally um, who they are that gave me these little bits of information of how to deal with things. And it's worked for me and I hope it works for you. Thank you.
gonna bring the real end about you out But there'll be no remnants, no trace, no residual I don't wanna go there We should never go there